The story of discovery of insulin. 347 million people worldwide have diabetes. But diabetes treatments are so common today that one might forget that diabetes is the seventh worldwide death cause. However, the cure wasn't always there. In fact, it's only been around for roughly 100 years. We've got to thank Frederick G. Banting, who was a Canadian scientist and a co-discoverer of insulin. In 1920, he had an idea that a product already inside our bodies could be used to relieve the effects of diabetes. He borrowed the idea from an earlier study done in, by Germans in 1980. John McLeod let Banting use a small part of his laboratory to give him 10 dogs and an assistant Charles Best. Soon enough, they showed enough progress to be upgraded to a better lab and given more funds. Banting and Best wanted to name their discovery Islatin, but later they agreed with McLeod to name it is Insulin, which is what we know it as today. They were also the first humans to test the side effects of insulin, and although they felt dizzy and weak, it had no other side effects. Leonard Thompson was the first to get the treatment in 1922, and it was successful. By 1923, the world realized how powerful insulin could be, and Banting together with McLeod were awarded a Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. Besting was upset that McLeod got the award and not his assistant. However, nothing was changed. The patent was sold for one dollar to be available to everyone. It is important to remember the story of an invention of insulin because it has saved hundreds of millions of people's lives. And now more than ever, there needs to be a reminder that healthcare is something everybody should be able to afford.